What is up everybody? My name is Nathan Dashke and welcome to the UFC 4 featherweight division and on the last episode we went 4-2 and two with Jose Aldo and today we're going to see what we can do with Arnold Allen. Now I don't really know a lot about Arnold Allen but I did see him fight a few times. I know he's very well rounded so he's not really good at one thing but he's good at everything. Like he's not really good at anything but he's good across the board. Like he can do all things. He's just not like a master in one of those things. Let's get into it. Alrighty, our first fight is up against a Max Holloway. And that really honestly doesn't surprise me because there are a uh, lot of Max Holloways in the featherweight division. He's like the main five-star champion you'd use. Except for Volkanovski. You'll see a lot of Volkanovski. And but like a lot of a lot of Max Holloway. So this doesn't surprise me, but we're gonna we're gonna see what we can do with Arnold Allen. Now he is a Southpaw. And I used to suck at Southpaw, but I'm a lot better. I've just learned over time how to use both Southpaw and Orthodox. Because you kind of have to. Because not every fighter is great. So I'm going to just... Oh, man. He's already hit me with the uppercut on the inside. I need to keep my distance and use my kicks. Grapple if I have to, but... Most likely... We will be able to land something here on the strike. Boom, he hit us with a push kick, which isn't good, but upper cut on the inside. Boom. Oh, no. Oh, no. Nope, dude. I thought we hit him, not a him hit us. Okay. Buddy, buddy. Oh, no. This is not good, guys. We need to be careful here. Boom. Go there. Boom. We're going to shoot. There we go. Sink the takedown. Like I said, Arnold Allen's great at striking and grappling, so you can use him for both. Okay, we're going to attack the head, and then once he blocks the head, we're going to gank the body and hopefully hip toss him into oblivion. Come on. Are we going to get it? Oh, dude, sometimes it doesn't let me do it. Come on, let me do it. There we go. Boom. Yes. And he falls. Okay. He's going to try to get full guard and stand up, but we're not going to let it happen. Let's beat him up here on the floor. Boom. Get some body shots in. And his body is weak now. We were eating away at that. I don't think he's ready. I don't think he's ready for what we got. Uh-oh, buddy. Okay, I'm going to stand up, I believe. Nah, we're just going to beat his head in, man. Wait a minute. This dude quit. Why did you do that? Well, I guess that's one and now. Next up, we are going against no other than Alexander Volkanovsky. And Alexander Volkanovsky is underrated as fuck. No one is paying attention to this man. And really, at the end of the day, no one is still paying attention to this man. But he's beaten a lot of the greats. He's beaten Max Holloway. He's beaten Brian Ortega, the Korean zombie. Like, he's beaten the best of the best. Like, I think he is better than Usman. Like, I want to see Usman versus Volkanovski. That, my friends, is a match. Is this guy okay? Oh, he wants to be cocky? I was bowing, bro. But we can be cocky if you want to be cocky. We're just going to have to knock you out. Oh, man. Yep. He's taunting. Come on, buddy. Oh, look at this. Oh, oh. Oh, punches on the inside. Okay. I love the WFA arena, so I'm really excited about this. Okay. So he has a really good body kick. Like a that body kick on the left side is really good. So we're going to keep utilizing that, but we're going to try to use our punches to maybe set it up. If we don't get no more lag throughout this fight, you know, we keep getting lag, which is annoying, but it's not the worst thing that could be happening. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Arnold Allen doesn't have a steel stainless chin or a, yeah, stale stainless chin. Steel stainless chin. That's the word I'm looking for. So he can still get rocked, but he does have good recovery. So like if you get rocked, just get back for a bit and you'll be good. We caught him with the one, two right there. And now's about time we start putting the pressure on. But do just enough to where we're not over-aggressive and we're still winning. Because Arnold Allen does not like to over-aggressively push. Boom, there we go. All right, we're just nailing the body. Eating away at it. Okay, let's see what he does here. Boom, boom, boom. There we go, two hooks. Boom, beat him with the head kick. All right, get him with the body. Boom, body again. Boom, body again. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. All right, let's see what we got here. All right, come on, buddy. 
Do you want to move forwards? All right, let's see what we can do here. Oh, no. He hit us there. Boom, boom. There we go. Inside hook. Boom, body. Boom, overhead. Boom. There's the freaking head kick. And he falls. Arnold Allen knocks out Alexander Volkanovsky in the second. No, that was still the first round, actually. First round with a head kick. Knockout. Let's see that highlight. Boom. Get Shrek, kid. Boom. That's freaking 2-0. and oh. We are on a roll. Let's keep it going. Fight number three. We are going up against a Conor McGregor. This is always going to be a tough match. And I forgot Conor McGregor was a featherweight because, like, we are going to see a lot of McGregors, too. And McGregor, I would say, is on an even playing field as Max Holloway. Like, they're both just very combos, are too speedy, and their hands are just so fast. You can't really do much, but we're going to try our best to see what we can get done, keep our distance, and do just what we need to to win the rounds and not be over-aggressive. We just don't want to get caught because Conor McGregor has that one-punch knockout, and, like, that's not even a joke. That ain't even that ain't be a punch. It could even be a kick. But he's got that one hit knockout. Like he may only rock you once per fight, but that not that rock is like the knockout. You know, you could stun him like seven times and he still won't be knocked out. But we'll see how it's going. It's not going bad right now. We're both kind of landing on each other, but I think this is the feeling out process. Okay. Well, he landed a little jump kick there, buddy. What's it? But boom. All right, see what we can do here. Boom, boom. There we go. Okay, he's pushing forwards. Boom, one, two. Block that. Boom, to the body. Okay. Boom, right to the body again. Just keep nailing that body and picking it apart. Oh, no. Need to block high when he does that. Boom, there we go. Two hooks on the inside. Okay, he rocks us. Okay. Boom, there we go. We hit him. Boom, second time. All right, boom, boom. All right, here we go. Boom. All right. Boom. <laughs> well, all right, that's two and one. For fight number four, we are going against a Jose Aldo. And we played Jose Aldo in the last episode of this series, and we did pretty good. We did, we did four and two, which isn't necessarily, like, the greatest. It's not the worst, though. And it's definitely above average, because average would be three and three. That's half and half. But uh, we just need to watch out for his speed at the end of the day. That's all it is, speed and kicks. And his boxing, his body boxing is insane. I wouldn't say his head boxing is that good, but his body boxing is on another level, man. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. This guy's being very aggressive. Come on. All right, we caught that knee. Get a hook off of it. Boom. Body kick. See, we're just like slowly picking that body kick in there. Okay, we rocked him. Boom. Get that body going. Ooh, we rocked him. Keep hitting that head. Boom. Oh, no. He, he blocked that low. Not blocked, but slipped. All right, here we go. Boom. Nope. Blocks the leg kick. Oh, we got him with the hook on the inside. Another one. Boom. Doesn't land. You can't see what he does. All right. He's like, he's, he's slipping a lot, and it's like, that's going to help us, though, you know? Because all you need to do is slip the right way, and you are knocked out. All right. Nope. See, that's what I'm talking about. When I say his body boxing is really good. Okay, we need to be very careful here. He is, he's putting the pressure on us, and this is not good. We are, we are folding the match. All right, there we go. Blocks that head kick, but it's no biggie. We're going to try another one. Doesn't go through. All right, we're going to have to go back to this body eventually. But the one-twos are getting through. Ooh, there we go. Let's push him up against the fence. Boom. All right, he goes to the floor. We're going to let him stand up. I don't want to risk an arm bar or anything. But we'll kick his leg a little. Make him get up. Force him to get up. Be ready to block low. Boom. Nope. Let's not get through, which makes me sad. We got the body kick in. Me. All right. What's up? What's up, Josie? Yeah, I'll be here. Okay, he got a flying knee through. No biggie. Boom. Okay. Okay, let's stay back. Oh, no. That was almost close. That could have been very bad. There we go. We rocked him with the head kick. We're going to go to the body. Boom. Oh, no. He hit us just like that. We dodged. Ooh, there we go. 
Oh man, that was it, that was it, this is it. Boom, and he falls, and he falls. All right, come on, come on, come on, get close, get close. I want you to fall into my game. Boom, all right, all right, and stay back. Boom, hit the body, boom, there we go, boom. Keep nailing him, boom, 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 boom. And he's out, Jose Aldo falls to the floor against Arnold. Allen, and that makes us three and one, which isn't that bad. All right, Connor McGregor knocked us out. His lucky strike, but let's take a look at this knockout. We hit him with the uppercut overhand. Boom, boom. That doesn't hit, but he's already rocked, so we just slam him. Boom, shoom, and then we. Boop him on the dang floor. That's pretty good, guys. Let's keep it going. Whoo! Alrighty, our fifth fight is going to be up against the Charles Oliveira. And Charles Oliveira is kind of on a tear right now. Not in the featherweight division. He's on a tear in the lightweight division. So as Arnold Allen here, all we need to watch out for on Charles is he has very good knees and elbows and we also need to watch out for his grappling but let's see what we can do here and just stick with what we've been doing because we only lost to conor mcgregor and it's just it was a lucky shot you know he caught me with a with a bad shot early but it's no biggie all right let's see what we can do here boom nope see look he's already popping those knees on the inside on the body and that's what we're gonna have to worry about Leg kicks can be deadly with Charles Oliveira, and so can the fist, but, like, as long as we keep our range, we're going to be good. Boom, there we go. Hit him in the head. Boom. Come on, buddy. Oh. Boom. Oh, no. See, he's boxing us on the inside. Charles Oliveira is very orthodox. Man, man has, like, precision striking, but, like, it's just the basics. It's not even that he's a crazy striker. He just has the technique down so well like the fundamentals that we can just hit them all right we missed that head kick which is no good but hey this one is boom stay back block that boom there we go that one two he blocks our leg kick we get the hooks on the inside boom we nail him let's go uh oh Oliveira, you're rocked you're rocked buddy okay block that one boom we block that boom there we go we hit the head again nail the body come back to the head Kick the leg. Nope. He's done to one of those push kicks. You always have to watch out for that front push kick. Very deadly if it lands. I need to be careful. I gotta slip out the way here. All right? Nope. See, I just like that. That was almost bad. Boom. There we go. We dodged out of the way. Okay. Let's see what we can do here. Nope. I don't know. Sometimes I just instinctively hit stuff really far away. But like I'm working on not doing that as much there we go boom okay boom oh we're right there what's up buddy come on bring it bring it bring it boom nope he blocked that leg kick pretty hard if he keeps blocking that leg kick he's gonna have some good damage on us i'm gonna have to worry about that leg a little more we have to be more sparingly with how we how we kick his legs but we've been landing these high kicks from the the left the left high kick over and over so i think we're just gonna keep doing what we're doing when we get close on the inside i like to do the inside overhand but this Oliveira is just pushing hard on us like you know he's kind of making a comeback but isn't that how Oliveira always is like you beat him up for the first round and he comes back twice as strong oh no oh no buddy oh no back off this doesn't oh no that's what I was talking about. We have to watch out for that. Okay, buddy. Get off me. Get off me. Get off me. This is an invitation. This is an invitation to fight. No, sir. No, sir. Sir, I'm going to have to ask you to just back off. Thank you. All right. We need to just... We'll stay back. Okay. I honestly... I think we won that first one. We got like five rocks. So we definitely secured that round, but... uh. We're never, we're never in the, the clear zone, especially in UFC. You're never in the clear zone. It could be, it could be a knockout at any, any point in the match. I've definitely seen some crazy stuff. So. All right, I think I want to grapple here. Oh, well, that did not work as well as I thought it was going to. 
<laughs> now he knows we want to grapple, but as long as we can get one in, boom, there we go. Now's the time to shoot, because we got him rocked. And just kind of keep him on the ground and get some body damage in. Boom, boom, boom. Eat him up a little, you know? All right, here we go. Come on, buddy. What's up, Charles? You're getting ground and pounded now. Uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> Let's see what he does. He's going to push off. Nope, we're going to go submit. Boom, that gets us inside control. We're going to try to get on top. There we go. He's going to roll over. No, dude, why did he do that one? All right, we're going to roll him right back over. Come on. Not take my position, buddy. This is my, my match. All right. Okay, we're going to get top again. And no, he rolls again. Why does he keep doing that? I should be taking his bat and being able to pound him in. But it's not happening. Okay, so we're just going to have to sit here. No, you need to stop. This is not allowed. I'm going to beat you up. Well, let's see what he does. Is he going to be able to roll with it is the question. No, he's not able to roll with it, which is good to know. It means we can use that later if we have to. We can kind of just beat his face in. All right, I think I'm going to go with the knee. Boom. And then we're going to go there. Boom. Hit him up against the fence. He's going to fall. No hip toss. Woo. There we go. There we go. This is such a clean match we're having right now. This round two has been going amazing. All right. He's probably going to try to stand here. We're just going to eat away at his body. If he wants to sit here and take these shots, we're going to... We're going to let him sit here and take these shots. Okay, he finally blocked that takedown right there. Boom, there we go. We're going to nail the body, go back to the head. Okay, boom. Oh, man, dude, he's fading. He's fading. Oh, no, he knocked me right there. I mean, that blocked my head kick, but, like, I think we're still good. Okay, come on, Charles. You need to stop, buddy. You need to stop. Boom, there we go, there we go. Boom! Good slammed! Alright, let's see what we can do here. Oh no, he's throwing a submission. This is what I was talking about. First round. We always have to be ready for a submission. See, I don't like this. This is spooky. And it just shows that it's possible that he can't submit me. Like, we need to watch out for it. Because, like, this is very spooky. Do you see how close that was? Like, it wasn't extremely close. But, like, it took me a while to find my footing. And that, my friend... It's spooky. All right, he's gonna push up. All right, push it to the side. All right, let's try to get some last damage off in this last. Boom, there we go. We rocked him. Let's see what we can do here. Just beat his face in until the end of the round. All right, guys, and that's the end of round two. Definitely think we won that one. Oliveira should be worried, man. We, we were doing some mass damage at the end of that last round. He should be a little spooked out, but, uh... Honestly, I don't know if this is going to go to a decision, but we're going to try to knock this man out because he is slowly falling apart, and he's really not finding his opening up us, which is what I noticed. I'm kind of kind of switching up the strategy, getting focused on that leg, and then go high just to, just to get him a little off guard. All right, let's see what we can do here. Boom, chop the leg again. Boom. <laughs> Boom. Nope, see, so didn't fall for that one. How about a takedown? Huh? When's the takedown going to come, buddy? Oh. Oh, oh, there we go. Okay. Boom, here we go. There we go. We got it in. We got it in. Right by the ankle. We did a nice ankle pick. Let's see if we can get on top. Nope, he pushes this way. All right, what are you going to do here? All right, we're going to take the side. He's going to stand, and we're going to get a knee from here. Boom, there we go. That's rocked in. Hit the body. Boom, hit the head. Boom. Oh, man, what's up? What's up, buddy? Come on. Oh, there we go. We hit the body again. Okay. Be calm, though. Oh, there we go. Gonna nail him in. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Mm, can we get a Can we get a hip toss? No, he pushed off. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Boom. There we go. Boom. There we go. Boom. Blocks that one. Okay. Come on. Boom. Oh, we hit him with that. Boom. There we go. Boom. Boom. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And we knock out the lightweight champion in the featherweight division as Arnold Allen and Charles Oliveira falls to the floor. And the way we did it was beautiful. We got him so trained on blocking low that we got him with one of the low high jumps. Boom. So he wasn't even expecting that. He dipped right into it. 
You dipped right into it, Oliveira. Why would you do that? Boom! Arnold Allen's kind of kind of nasty with it. But what does that leave us at right now? We're like 4-1. and one? Not bad. Not bad at all. The last fight as Arnold Allen. We are going to be going up against the Max Holloway. And just, just be prepared, everybody. I want everyone to be prepared because the amount of Max Holloways we are going to be getting in the next few UFC videos, it's going to it's gonna get annoying. You're probably going to get tired of seeing Max Holloway, but everyone loves to play him. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try my best to show you guys why Arnold Allen is clearly a superior fighter to Max Holloway. Like, we've already started off good. We were boxing him up right here. Boom. And he's, he's, he's being more of a kickboxer, Max, than a boxer heavy, Max, which is all right. It's just we're going to have to change our game plan a little. But if you want to box in the pocket, we can box in the pocket. Okay, 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 okay. He wants to keep me at distance is right now what's happening, which is really annoying. I'm honestly not finding my opening that much. He's just keeping me at bay, and I'm not finding my opening here, which is a little annoying, but... Ooh, there we go. Boom, early rock, early rock, okay. We're gonna work on the body. Nope, he blocks that, flips us on our ass. No, sir, your spinning shit is not gonna, not gonna work on me. Not gonna let it fade me. Okay, okay, no, this is not good. Oh, no. Guys, this is what I'm talking about with Max Holloway. His striking is just, he's god tier, man. He's boxing. Okay. Oh, no. I'm going to have to grapple. Yep. Here we go. Boom. Good slam on your ass, boy. All right. Let's see what he tries to do here. We're just going to work on getting top. There we go. We got it. We're going to see. He's going to go left, right, or up. We're going to get some round and pound in while he's waiting. Max, my man, you're taking some damage. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Get some more ground and pound in, work the body some. But he's doing the uh, arm up block, which is a very, very effective block if you know what you're doing. And this guy looks to know somewhat what he's doing. But uh, we're still winning this round majorly. Let's get the straight punch going first, and then we'll switch it to the hook. But... He manages to get up. All right, we're going to switch back to southpaw because that's what we want. Boom. There we go. Head kick landed. We're going to get the slam. Nope. He blocks that. We're going to get back and work our punches. Boom. There we go. Boom. <laughs> oh, man, dude. We didn't even have to. We didn't even have to. We hit him with a kick and a takedown, which is good. So see, this Max thought he was doing really good at the beginning. He was getting really cocky because he rocked me. But the thing about a lot of my fights is I kind of get rocked really early. Like, first round, I get rocked or fucked up a lot. But then I, I take it slow and come back. So that's what's happening to this Max right now. He's like, oh, man, dude, what did I get myself into? I should just like, oh, I'm like, hey, man, you're playing Max, and I'm not... Not, not gonna lose to Max. I see Max's all the time, so like I'm gonna, gonna have to beat you up here. Throwing the last few body hooks. Boom. And I 100% secured that round. There's no way he won that round. That round was all me. All me. All Arnold, man. All Arnold. Alright, let's see what we can do here. Boom. We'll get that leg kick going. Goom. Dude, we're boxing this guy up. As long as we keep him at bay and use his own strategy against him, boom, we use those leg kicks to keep him at range and then box him up when he gets in his pocket. Boom, there we go. We caught him with the hook. Boom, and we caught him with the leg kick. All right, he's falling apart now. He's literally falling apart. It's kind of crazy. Oh, no. Oh, no, he's rocked me. Okay, we're going to take him down just to be safe. He blocks that, though. All right, we both got low stamina now, and you need to... You need to get back and recover, so this gives me some time to figure out my opening. There it is. And we sank it. Let's try to get top. And we got it. We got it. We got it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Boom, boom. Always start with the straight because he's doing the arm lift first, and he cannot block the straight punch with the arm lift. You can only block the diagonal ones if you didn't even know that. Most of you should probably know that if you're watching. Let's get some damage in here. 
Try to get him to block. No, did not happen. But it is what it is. All right, we got top control again. And let's get these fists in. Boom, boom, boom. All right, he blocked that one, which really, really messed up our mojo. But hey, man, it is what it is. Okay, let's just get some fist in. And I'm going to get up. I'm going to let the man up. Okay. Come on, come on, Max. What's the deal, yo? Boom. All right, that landed. That would have been beautiful. Boom, there we go. He falls. We're just kind of distracting him. Oh, no. Oh, no. That was bad. That was bad. That was very bad. We had to take this man down, dude. That was not good. That was not good. Oh, no. Oh, no, guys. This is... Oh, man. <laughs> sorry, sorry, but you have to go to the floor. I'm so sorry. Oh, man. You just... You have to. Okay. So, what we need to watch out for is that duck combo and his slip back that's what got me boom there we go we caught him we caught him in the duck combo come on buddy what's the dealio what's the dealio all right he pushes up he gets up boom blocks that interesting okay come on we got him trapped in the corner which is good but he's slowly moving away from that but we're just going to keep taking him down until he just gives up boom okay See, see, he does the duck, and then he does the lean back. So we're going to catch him. Oh, man, dude, we're lagging a little. Come on, don't do this now. Okay, there we go. Oh, oh, buddy. Oh, nope. That was good. Okay, let's see. Oh, there we go. That inside overhand's dirty. Boom. Oh, we duck it. Oh, and we hit him with the overhand. And we hit him with the inside overhand. Did you see that? Oh my god! That may be one of the craziest knockouts I've ever gotten in this game. We ducked the freaking high kick. Wow. Wow. Look at the way he drops, man. That is clear precision. Well, that is gonna be it. Freaking 5 1 with Arnold Allen in the featherweight division. Thank you for watching. Hit that like and subscribe button.